What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Big B Productions 100. Tonight, I'm going to show you guys a cool, quick video on how to create words down below for your doc. Well, in your doc or whatever, on your doc, however you want to say it. Instead of having all those little, small, tiny ass icons that I've seen a lot of people on YouTube have. And I've seen some people with like maybe like 30 or 40 different applications on their doc. And the icons are like so small you can barely see it and you gotta like zoom in just to see what it is. So here we go, we have words instead of the icons. And if you like the icons, by all means, I mean you can still have it. Check it out. There you go. We have the App Store, Safari, and all my web browsers, mail, calendar, all that good stuff. We have studio. We have uh different sound kits that I've created, you know, for garage band or whatever. We have uh some of these I've downloaded too. I like Nas and music loops and all that good stuff. We have some Timbaland down here and Puff Diddy and a whole bunch of other good stuff. We have for the third tab, music, I mean movies, I'm sorry about that. We have iTunes, iMovie, more movies and a whole bunch of other good stuff. Special effects and photos. We have iPhoto, Plastic Surgery Simulator, which is a cool application and I will be doing a review on that application sometime this week. We have uh, Photoshop, iSplash, another great application I love. Uh, learning we just have basically in here we have like a, a, a dictionary a daily bible whatever we have some different flashcards italian french and spanish you know you want to learn different languages that's just my learning tab uh we have over here tech we have uh, some cool applications in here and let me move this this don't belong in here so i'm gonna be dragging this back over to the studio i'm just gonna drop that i'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second we're gonna go back to tech we have a uh, Max Tracker and Mix tab, and over here to the far right corner, we have tools. Under tools, we have system preferences, utilities, and time machine, and all that good stuff. So, all right, let's get started. Basically, what I did is uh, I didn't delete my doc or whatever, I still have it, it's up here in the right hand corner, as you see right here. But I just made it like small. I only have actually the only time these icons will pop up on the doc is when I open one up down here. But it's cool because you still can't see it. See it. It's you know it's hidden. It's off to the side, and I don't want to see it. I, I hate all that cluttered crap on my screen. And as you see, my screen is like basic, and there's nothing on here other than the words and my little desktop background. That's how I like to keep it. So, uh, with the application I'm using to do this with, it's called a uh, Tab Launcher. I downloaded this out of the App Store, and it was a dollar, and I love it. You know, and basically they just added a new feature where you can just drag it around you know to the right or left hand corner and at first you can just have it on the left or right hand corner of your screen but now you can like have it down below and if you bring it down below you know it like drop down and you can't see it and as far as the words basically you can just name your own tabs whatever you want and if you right click on any tab you have this little box here and it prompts you with a uh, tab color uh, title color and title fonts so what I did was I downloaded some cool fonts off a of line and I just used those for my fonts for my words such as main uh, I believe I'm using yeah that's the Blade Runner font or whatever and for studio and movies and so on I'm using uh, that is Batman Forever part or part two or something like that I don't know I think it's like I think it's just one Batman Forever I don't know but uh, anyway, that's the Batman Forever font. And uh, if you like click it down below, you can like drag it around or whatever, wherever you want to drag it to. So uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, as far as the icons, you can just simply just go into your, hold on, just go into your applications folder or whatever and take any icon you want and just bring it down below and drop it in place. There you go. But we're going to move that because that's a video game. I haven't created a tab for my games yet, but uh, I probably won't be doing so because I just pretty much use Quick Pick for that. So go to my games page and play my games. But like I was saying, YouTube, that's a pretty cool application, and it's called Tab Launcher. And I'm telling you, go in there and get it. And as far as with the color, like I said, if you right click, you can do the title color or tab color. We're going to do the tab color. If you click on tab color, you can basically change your tab color to whatever color you want. Green, red, purple. If you kind of sweet or whatever, or you like pink, you can do pink. But uh, we're going to go back to 
gonna go to I guess yellow yeah we're gonna go to yellow I like that that's pretty cool so you just click on a X symbol and there you go and as far as your dock you can just drag that over to the side and have it to fade away when you're not using it you know or you can just leave it out however you want to do it so I just like to have mine to fade away so I just thought I'd share that with you guys therefore you can just have words at the bottom instead of all those cluttered icons just sitting there on your dock all alone by themselves so waiting for you to just click it with the mouse so, this your boy big productions 100 please rate comment subscribe uh if you want to give me a thumbs up thumbs down whatever i appreciate it you know what i'm saying i appreciate the feedback this your boy big productions 100 again i'll let you